Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hartman and we are here at Spring Quilt Market in Kansas City and I would love to show you some of my new fabric collection for Robert Kaufman Adventure and the projects that go with it. So with Adventure, I most, like most of my quilting collections, they are quilting basics primarily with a few punchy prints just that you can use for backs or to punch up your projects and here's a great one to start with. Um, this is a, le a lemur print, a ring-tailed lemur print that is available in two colorways. I have it here on the back of my Lana lemur pillow because if you have the lemur print on the back you can make a patchwork lemur to go on the front. Um, this, like all my patterns, this is made with conventional patchwork techniques so it's all squares and rectangles sewn together with straight seams and diagonal seams so it may be a lot of pieces and some of the pieces are small but the techniques are very straightforward so this guy is just the one of them on a pillow we have a larger quilt up here that has 20 lemurs on it you can see the different Essex linens here on the bodies and conus solids on the striped tails and on the little masks and then I have the adventure prints on the little ears here. And one thing I really like about this larger quilt is that you can make it with just two pre-cuts. So all of these bodies and these tails are made with this 10 square pack that has 40 different fabrics in it. It has 20 Kona solids and 20 Essex linens. So it's a lot of different fabrics in here to make the lemurs. And then I used a charm pack of adventure to make their ears. And then down, if I scoot away, you can kind of see down here, this is another version of the lemur quilt just with the two of them. So even if you, if you don't feel like you're up, quite up to piecing 20 of them, you can definitely just do the two of them together. So that's Lana Lemur. That's one of the new patterns. I'm going to move over here to show you the next one, which is called Leafy. So Leafy is a piece, I'm going to kind of pull this out so hopefully you can see it a little bit more easily. Leafy is another pieced patchwork quilt made with the adventure prints and with a bunch of the Essex cotton linen. And I, I just love working with the Essex cotton linen. It's a 55 cotton, 45 linen blend. And it really is of nice textural difference to the flatter quilting cotton and the flatter Kona solids. I'm gonna pick up right here to show you what this quilt is made out of. This is a bundle of fat quarters of the Essex linen. And then it, this one also uses a bundle, I'm going to lean forward real quick, a bundle of the Adventure prints. So these two together with a Kona roll up to do these little stems, or stems and veins rather, in the leaves, make up this entire thing. There's no background fabric or no other additional fabric at all. So this is one way you can go about making the leafy quilt, but if we move kind of over here, I'm actually going to grab this and hold it up in front of this other quilt. So this is another version of the leafy quilt that's a little bit scrappier and a little bit different in color. So in this case, the block backgrounds are all different just like in the other quilt, but they're a lot more subtle, they're low volume, so it reads a little bit more like one color background. And then the leaves themselves you can see are made up of multiple fabrics. So this one is, it's written as a 10 square pattern, so the 10 inch pre-cut squares you can use or you can just use scraps. There's a lot of variation in how you can use this particular pattern. And it's also, um, it's also sort of the rare pattern where you can use either big prints, small prints, solids. Because you have those big chunks, I can kind of hold it up so you can see again, the chunks that make up the leaves themselves. You really have a lot of flexibility in what kind of fabric you can use and how you can combine the fabrics to make the leaves themselves. And then I'm just gonna pick up one more pad or project rather from the ground here. And this is the pillow from the leafy pattern that has, it's a little tongue twister there, the pillow from the leafy pattern that has just two of the patchwork leaves and we can see some of the adventure print fabric on the back. And now the big grand finale here, my favorite project from Adventure. I'm gonna move aside so you can see it. So this is my spectacular Savannah quilt. This is an animal sampler quilt with some of those really beautiful iconic animals from the African Savannah. We have a, an elephant, a lion, a rhinoceros, a gazelle, a wildebeest, a hippo, a zebra, and a giraffe, and then some piece leaves at the top and the bottom. Um, this is a quilt that uses a variety of Kona cotton, so cotton solids, um, that Essex linen I was talking about before, and of course prints from my adventure collection. The background is a great color called Kona metal, 
and this is available as a kit. It's available um, obviously as a pattern and the pattern itself has some other options. You can make it as this great sampler quilt, but you can also make um, use individual blocks to make different individual projects. So in this case, I have made a pillow with the lion. You can see back here a pillow with the zebra. And then here's a little baby quilt made with the elephant block. So all of the blocks in this pattern can be made into squares kind of like this. So you can use them individually as I have with these projects or you can tile them to make larger quilts. And the pattern itself has instructions for making a whole bunch of different projects. There's four pages of, pro of I call them bonus projects to go with the pattern. So you have a lot of flexibility there. And, you know, I really wasn't initially planning to do the Spectacular Savannah Quilt for the Adventure Collection, actually, but once I got, I had the lemur planned and the leaf planned because that went well with the theme of the fabric. But once I had all the fabric together and had all the coordinates together, I realized that the color scheme really just was perfect for this particular palette and this particular collection of animals. So I kind of couldn't resist doing this and I'm really glad I did because it was very, very fun to put together and I obviously hope you all have a lot of fun putting it together. So I have one more thing that I'm gonna show and I'm just gonna move right over here and I'll actually unveil this. This is kind of a big one. So this is not part of the adventure collection, but this is a pattern that I have done called August. This is sort of a variation on a medallion quilt. It's similar, if you're familiar with my Aviatrix medallion pattern, this is kind of similar in format to that. It's made um, with a bundle of Kona solids um, that is available as a bundle of 20 Kona solids called the Elizabeth Hartman Designer Bundle. And then it has a little bit of Essex linen as the sashing and accents in there just to add a little bit of textural difference. And like the animal patterns, this one is made entirely just with conventional patchwork piecing, sewing straight seams and sewing diagonal seams. So that is, um, that is all of my projects that I have here um, for adventure and for spring. And thank you so much for looking at them with me. Okay, um, which one of all the quilts is your favorite? The um, Spectacular Savannah is probably my favorite just because I always love making the animal faces and that one I had a lot of opportunity to make different animal faces for. Yeah. Awesome. Okay.